Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. Out, it seems, among the cows. Luckily, the cows are moving away from me, although I did see a sign earlier that says, beware of the bull. Can't see a bull. I'm not here to look at the herd of dairy uh, animals, but I'm here to meet up with a, a lovely chap called Craig Emerson, and he is going to show me the Hockley Viaduct. Let's see if we can find him. Hello, Craig. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, you got in touch with me and you said, I must show you some heritage in Hampshire. I oh. And I thought that was a great idea. So we're going to take a little stroll and uh, we're going to find out about the Hockley Viaduct. Hockley Viaduct, yes. Now, am I right in thinking that the Hockley Viaduct is on a abandoned railway? It is, yes. Um, it was uh, basically the extension of the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway. Right, all the way from Didcot, that's up in Oxfordshire, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah, blimey. Yes, uh, and uh, it was amalgamated into the Great Western Railway uh, in 1923 with the groupings. Um, and uh, it ran out of money, so uh, it couldn't... Uh, couldn't continue. Couldn't so continue they, from, from Winchester. Now you were speaking to me in the car as we sort of headed out here. We're in uh, Winchester in Hampshire and this is where this rather splendid monument now lies in a field of cows <laughs> um, but in the valley that um, crosses the Itchin. River Itchin, yes. The River Itchin. So originally the Didcot and what was it called? The New Did Didcot Newbury, Newbury Southampton. and Southampton gives you the route wanted to go to Southampton but they couldn't get down to Southampton because they ran out of money here at Winchester at yes. Winchester had they at that point built the viaduct no they hadn't no so um, it came to uh, the London South Western Railway to actually build the rail the viaduct in 1888 um, as, uh, to take the goods from the, the Cotney Newbury Southampton Railway onto the London and South Western Railway now you tell me an interesting uh, fact that they got when they got this all built they couldn't take from Winchester the freight that they were carrying down into Southampton. Uh, Great Western engines were not allowed south of Winchester. Oh yes the engines weren't so they had to swap engines. So they had to swap engines at the uh, Chisel station in Winchester. <laughs> Which is and that's a smallish station. That's the smallest station yes. <laughs> Which is a bit daft. Now, behind us, or rather in front of us, uh, slightly into the sun, I'm afraid, here it is, the, the Hockley Viaduct. Is this area called Hockley, then? I would imagine so. Yeah, um, you don't know where the name comes uh, originally from. Originally, it was called the Shawford Viaduct. Oh, right. Um, Shawford is um, not too far away. Now, I should say that we're filming on a Friday before the bank holiday weekend. Um, <laughs> And as we came up the, uh, the M3, the traffic going oh. both ways was um, almost at a standstill, which we were sitting in. But you may hear on the audio that sort of uh, gentle motorway grumble. <laughs> anyway, shall we go and have a look at it? Let's, yeah. let's have, I gather, Craig, that we can actually not only have a look at it from uh, ground level, but because it's a disused railway, we can we, actually we, walk across. We can, yes. 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 And That's how much of that railway is now open? Uh, none of this railway is open now. It's all I mean to the public. Oh, it's as, open, as a walk. open as a walkway, yes. Yes. yes it is, yes. yes. All the way into Winchester. All the way from, but, and how far north does it go? <sighs> from Winchester? Yeah. Um, it doesn't really. It doesn't, so it sort of ends here, does it? it? Yes. So we're at the start of it, but we get the, uh, the joy of crossing the viaduct. Now, in order to do that, we've got to go back out, walk along the the main road and then get up onto the footpath, haven't we? Yes. But um, interestingly, things about viaducts and, and you're a railway buff, aren't you? A little bit. Yeah. So you can tell me how many arches and spans does it have? It says uh, 33 arches. Or 30. 33 spans. Or yes, what, whatever you've got. How yeah. high is it? Because it's, um, I mean, it's quite high when you're standing underneath it, of course, but uh, there, there are others which are much higher. Oh, yes. oh yeah, there are some which are much, much higher, yes, but uh, 
I would have estimated about 50 foot. 50, 60 foot, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I would have said. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go through, which we can do now. Here it is. Oh yes, I, I took a picture of the beware of the bull sign. Um, you can see, there we go, it marches across this area. And presumably that's because this floods and you've got the river as well. The river itching, yes. Yeah. Craig. Yes. We've made it up the hill. We have, yes. And we are now at the end of the walk. Wait, the end of the walk? This is all the beginning of the walk, I suppose. Well, but it's... I suppose it's the beginning of the walk into Winchester. Yes. But it's the end of uh, the, the, end track, of the... the track bed. From here it used to go on to uh, Shawford Junction. Which is still a mainline yes. railway. Yes. So this is called Viaduct way which is now footpath and ahead of us it is the uh, the actual viaduct we're going to walk yes. on the top shall we get going we can. Yeah. the last viaduct i think i walked over was about 10 years ago when i was down in devon in oh and now i'm going to forget the name of the blooming town where a very famous person lived and i can't even tell you who that is so as soon as i remember i'll put it on the screen and I walked across that over this lovely... Holsworthy? It was uh, at the edge of uh, Dartmoor, but I can't remember the town. Um, a famous nautical man, as I remember. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We are, <laughs> we are now on the, uh, the viaduct, built, as you say, in the late 1800s. 1880s. 1880s, there we go. And we should, of course, get some rather terrific views, I'm rather hoping. So this would have been, it's wide enough, for what looks to me like two tracks. Would it have been or would it single? No, a single track. Oh, yes. right, okay. Yes. And ahead of us is a signal. Now, that's not an original signal no, for this. No, it's not original, no. Would you have had a signal on a viaduct? Um, I don't know. Um, I would have thought it um, signalled to the driver that uh, he's coming up to the... Uh, junction yes maybe. I would have thought if you need to stop a train you probably want to stop them before they get on the viaduct we did actually just a, a moment ago go past a point where I could have given you a nice view but uh, there's another one coming up let's just have a look at this signal uh, there's a ladder here so if you if you were that inclined you could climb up to the top of the signal but I wouldn't advise it it's actually been meshed off a bit it says here the signal is dedicated to the railway men who oversaw the passage over the viaduct of 16,000 trains that ran in the 12 months leading up to D-Day. Oh, I see, on the 6th of June. Donated by the friends of Hockley Viaduct in 2014. So there we are, we learnt something, Craig. Yeah. It's quite a long old viaduct. Do you know how long it is, what the span is? Uh, not offhand. Not offhand. Um, it's like about a quarter of a mile though, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a, a big valley that it uh, spans yeah. across. And there are buildings, I don't know if you're about to pick them out or even know, I, that presumably up there is Winchester, is it? Yeah, that'd be St Cross. So, oh, it's St Cross. And here we get a bit of a view here. We can see down and, and in the distance there's the cows munching on the grass. And it, shortly, I presume, Craig will be going over the River Itchin. We will, yes. It's Itchin, isn't it? Not it, Itching. Itchen. Itchen. Yes. Yeah, I'm often I making those. I-T-C-H-E-N. E-N. Well, it's a, it's a lovely day for going across a viaduct. So this footpath goes into Winchester. It does. It goes all the way into Winchester where the old uh, station used to be at Chesil. Ah, and is the station uh, disused now? Uh, the station is now a multi-storey car park. Oh. <laughs> That's but, such a shame, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, but there is a, a little sign, there's a... A plaque or something? A, 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 the road going up to the, uh, um, still called Station Approach. Right, so there are, see if you're a bit of a detective, you can still find out uh, where these old things are. And it was called Cheswell Station because uh, it was um, known as Ches Cheese Hill. 
Oh, Cheese Hill. Cheese Hill. Because um, of dairy farming? I, I don't know about that, but uh, it was a shortened Chesil. Yes. Oh, right. We've come to the, the, the end now. Um, we can see where it crosses over the river. If I lift up the camera like that, you'll be able to look down. It's quite a shallow river, but very clear. Not terribly wide now. If you look over the other side, you'll see the motorway. Do you want to see the motorway? Let's have a look. There it is. With the slow travelling traffic going over the, the itching that side. Craig, it's been absolutely wonderful to come along That's and fine. explore. I'm going to come around this side so we get the sun in our faces. It means we squint a bit, but thank you so much. And you said you'd, you've got a few more up your sleeve. Oh yes, certainly, yes. A few more bits of heritage. So there we are. That'd be something to look forward to. In the meantime, thank you very much. That's quite all right. It's been splendid on my little 10 minute jaunt. Been a pleasure. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Become a patron, help support what I do. It's the only way I can pay the bills and get out. Um, and give us a thumbs up, big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. That really does help with the YouTube algorithm if you're watching on YouTube, of course. Uh, in the meantime, take care and see you again. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.